Assalamu alaikum students good morning or good evening this is Majid Tahir your teacher for computer science the topic that we are doing is procedures and functions this topic is same in AS level and in O levels also so procedures and functions first let's talk about procedure what is a procedure procedure is a sequence of step that is given an identifier a name and can be called with the call keyword so procedure is a self-contained program code, a section of the program code that will do a specific task and it will do the specific task only when it is called. Function is also sequence of steps that is given a name, an identifier and it will do also some specific steps when it is called but the function in procedure the difference between a procedure and function is that function always returns that value. What are we talking about returning a value is that function has a value that it returns to the program. So a value is stored in the function. We will see that how the function is returning the value and what is actually returning means when we are looking at the code in the following slides. Now there is one more thing that is called parameter of the function. Parameter of procedure or function is a variable applied to the procedure or function that allows one to pass the value in the procedure or function to use. So parameter is a value inside the function or a procedure which is used in this procedure or function. So this value is passed from a variable or it can be passed directly by the input of the user. So we will see also how the parameters work. In O levels, we do not have the parameters by val or by ref, but in AS level, we have the parameters by val and by ref also. So we are going to talk about that also. So parameters can be by val or by ref. What is by val or by ref? We are going to see that. By val stands for by value. By value is a method of passing a parameter to a procedure in which value of the variable cannot be changed. So we are talking about when we're talking about value of the variable means that value of the original variable that is passing the value to the parameter. The value of the original variable will not change, but the parameter can, you know, uh, uh, the, the procedure can do some process in the parameter and it will do the uh, it will have the value. But the value of the original variable will stay the same. By ref is by reference and the method of passing a parameter to procedure in which value of the original variable, the value of the variable which is passing to the parameter will also change by the process or the you know procedure that is done in the procedure or function. So we will see how it works when we'll see the code, you'll understand what is the parameter by while, what is the parameter by ref and how it is working. One more important thing is the header of the procedure or function. Header of procedure or function is the first statement in the definition of the procedure or function. It contains the name of the function or procedure. It names, uh, it contains the parameters passed to it or a function. In type of the return value, if it is a function, it has to has a return data type. So type of the return value of the function. Now we are going to see the procedure pseudocode. So we declared the procedure with the keyword procedure. For example, we are declaring a procedure with the name of times table and the parameter is by val num and the data type is integer. For an O-level student, they can simply write on procedure times table. It is the name of the procedure an identifier and only the parameter num and the data type of the parameter for an O level students only. AS level students is sometimes they have to give the uh, by val or by ref. So they have to give by val or by. So we will we will see how this works. So in the times table, we are starting a loop for for loop C is equal to one to 10. And the procedure does what? It outputs num, which is the parameter times sign c is equal to c into num and then next. So next is next c basically. So this next when comes, it means that 
we are talking about next C and end procedure. So this is uh, basically the procedure. We have made the procedure, but we haven't called the procedure right now. So procedure will only work when it is called in the main program. Now our main program starts with the begin, uh, declare number as integer. This is the variable that we're declaring. Uh, output says, please input number for times table. So this is a uh, output statement which asks a user to input a number for its times table. User inputs a number in the variable number which we have just declared. Now the call to the procedure is done by the call keyword in the times table which we have just uh, called and uh, you see this number, this number is this uh, number which we have declared over here. Now times table when times table is called you can see the number, this number is basically applying the value to this parameter num. When you do that, whatever value was in number goes into the parameter of num and procedure is called and the whole process of this uh, procedure is run and end of the program. So now when we uh, call uh, the procedure, it will work like that. And uh, what will be the output? This statement, input a number for its timetable is over here. Please input a number for its timetable. User has input over here number, which is basically this 12. Now the call, the procedure is done over here and the number is applied to in the call procedure done in the loop for for loop worked and this uh, table is printed till 10 times and the program stops. So this is how program is working. Now VB code for procedure is this. In visual basics procedures are called subroutines. So if you can see a subroutine uh, made in front of you. Uh, this is a subroutine that we have made. Times table the same thing by while the way uh, the key uh, the parameter num is the parameter for loop in the same process that we have just seen in the pseudocode. And this is the main program. And when you want to call the uh, procedure, call keyword and the name of the subroutine or procedure is written in the number which was declared over here is written inside which applies the values to this number. This applies the value and it will give you an output which is going to be like this. So this is the output that we've just seen uh, your program works. Uh, it says in, it says input a number for its times table. Uh, this line basically is this one that you're looking at over here, this one. Then user has given an input on this line, this one, which is this one. And then call to the procedure was done and the call keyword called this procedure and then this loop worked over here and the table is printed. Let's see another procedure which will show you uh, how by while and by ref works. So procedure is the Celsius procedure by while temp as real parameter scope is by while. So temp is equal to temp minus 32 divided by 1.8 is the formula to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now output temperature in Celsius is equal to temp and then end procedure. So this is the procedure that we've created. Now begin main program starts, uh, declare value as real is the variable that is declared. Uh, output input temperature in Fahrenheit. So user is gonna input temperature in Fahrenheit and whatever input input is gonna go in the value. The call to the procedure is done, call Celsius name of the procedure and value is applied to the parameter. So this value, whatever user has given, is going to give the value to the uh, to the procedure over here in the temp. Uh, output temperature in Fahrenheit is the original value. Value is displayed, and and end the program. So this, uh, when you run this code, uh, this value when a, when user uh, calls the keyword Celsius, this value is going to give the value to this temp variable. And then this procedure will work with this value. So now it says output uh, temperature in Fahrenheit is the value. And the inside when the procedure work, it says temperature in Celsius and the temp, which was converted by this formula. Now let's see the output of this program. 
is going to be like this. So when user applied the value temperature in Fahrenheit, input temperature in Fahrenheit is this line running. So in input temperature in Fahrenheit, user has input 76. So this 76 is inside this value. So when you call the uh, Celsius program, this value went over here in temp and uh, basically the whole process worked and it says temperature in Celsius is equal to temp, which is this line temperature Celsius is equal to uh, 24.4444. It is just conversion of a temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And this then this line is printed temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 76, which you can see right now. Temperature in Fahrenheit 76 is printed because uh, it is already in the value original value was you know 76 so it says the value so original value 76 is displayed now what happens when we do the same process uh, same procedure by not by uh, val but by ref let's see in the next uh, slide now we are doing the same program exactly same program only the difference is that we have changed uh, the parameter from by ref to by while which you can see right now over now let's see the program so the same program as you can see exactly same program uh, procedure is run in the uh, main program is basically run uh, we declared a value in the keyword value uh, user is given an output statement which says input a temperature in Fahrenheit which is this one. So the program works it says input a temperature in Fahrenheit. User has given a value 76 in this 76 in this value this one. So 76 is input in this value as you can see. Now call to the keyword uh, call to the procedure call keyword is a call to the procedure. It says call Celsius and then value this value is supplied to this temp variable uh, it, it did what it changed the temperature minus 30 divided it changed it to uh, Fahrenheit it the change into Celsius the Fahrenheit are changed into Celsius and it displayed the temperature in Celsius is equal to whatever temp the value had temp had it displayed that so it displayed temperature in Celsius is equal to 24.44444 now as you can see it says temperature in Fahrenheit is the value original value was what we know that original value was this one 76 that user has supplied originally this one this one but now temperature in Fahrenheit is also displaying 24 now what is this uh, it is converted this 24 and then rounding off this 24 is basically doing because this uh, because of this by ref because we have applied the temperature uh, we have applied the parameter by ref so whatever happened to temperature is actually happened to the original value and the 76 is actually changed into 24 which is you are looking at so by ref is used when we have to update the value for example we're making a program and we're doing something and we want to update that to everywhere in the program wherever the value is uh, connected or referred to then we will use uh, by ref keyword and when we do not want to change the original value and we want only uh, you know work with the value and uh, uh, work with the value that is applied in the procedure but original value has to remain the same then we will use by while as you have seen earlier so subroutine for foreign high cells is the same by while if you can see the same exact uh, procedure uh, same exact thing only uh, we know that the procedure in visual basics is called sub so sub celsius by well temp as decimal and then the same procedure as we are doing by val so uh, original value the temperature in fahrenheit and the, the user has applied the value which is 75 over here this time so user has applied the value and temperature in fahrenheit is uh, displayed temperature in Fahrenheit is displayed and the value original value which is this one uh, 75 is displayed as it is and then call to the keyword call Celsius value is displayed and the call will change this Celsius to 23.8888 so whatever and if you do the exact exactly and if you do exactly the same thing as by ref 
as we are looking at right now so by ref is going to do what i have changed this program by ref only and the same thing as you can see user has uh, input temperature in fahrenheit is this line user has given a value 75 in this value this one so temperature in celsius is equal to 20, 23 because the call was made to the procedure celsius and this call changed this uh, value this value is applied to the temp and it changed the value and it temp is displayed 23.888 and then temperature in fahrenheit and the original value is again also changed to 24 which was supposed to be what 75 so this is actually happened because of by ref keyword all right so this is the difference between by val and by ref